Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 12, JavaScript Prototype, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the prototype in JavaScript. So, JavaScript it's a dynamic language, so we can attach new properties to an object at any time. So, in this code snippet, you can observe very clearly, I have a function employee and I have two properties, name and gender, and the value assigned to them are Sam and male respectively. So, in my eighth line, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to create an object of this function employee with the help of this new keyword. So, once I create an object, my object name is emp obj1. Okay, I repeat the sentence again, we can attach new properties to an object at any time. So here, here I have created an object of a function employee, but this function employee does not contain age property. What I'm doing in my ninth line is, I'm adding a new property age to this object emp obj1 and the value attached to it is 15. And in my tenth line, I'm trying to push that push that emp obj1 dot age to the alert function. We displace the value present in that property in the alert window. So we'll get the output as 15. Okay, and in the 12th line, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create another object, other instance of an object of a function employee. So, what I'm trying to do in my 13th line is I'm trying to access or fetch the value of age property, and here we'll get the output as undefined. Why? Because age property is attached to employee object one instance only. Okay, but employee object two instance will not have the age property because it is defined only to the particular property that is emp obj1 and it is not defined to emp obj2 prop, uh, object. Okay, and suppose if you want uh, the age property, okay, if you want the age pro property attached itself, attach to the function itself, okay, such that all the objects created of this function employee will have the age property. What we need to do is we need to go back, okay, to the function. There we need to add like this dot age is equal to 15, but I don't want to do like that. So uh, at, at any point of time in my 14th line, if I need to add the new property, how can I achieve that? I can achieve that with the concept of with the feature called prototype in JavaScript. So let us jump into the next slide. Let us understand what is prototype in JavaScript. Okay, prototype is an object that is associated with every functions. Keep in mind, prototype is an object that is present in every function and objects by default in JavaScript. Prototype is an object, it is associated with the every function and also the object by default in JavaScript where function prototype property is accessible and modif modifiable. But keep in mind, objects prototype property is not visible to anyone. Okay, and every function include prototype pro object by default. I repeat, every function include the prototype object by default. Okay, the prototype object is a special type of object to which additional properties can be attached to it. Okay, which will be shared across all the instances of its constructor function. In the sense, suppose if I wish to add a new property to a function employee at uh, 14th line or at any instance, okay, at, at any place. So how can I do that? I can add a new property to, to a function employee with the help of prototype. So in the next slide, let me show you how to add a new property to a function employee, okay, at any point of time, such that all the instances created of the function employee will have that particular property created using the prototype, okay. Now here you can observe, here we have a function employee and here the two properties present in it are name and gender and the values are Sam and male respectively. And in the ninth line, what I'm trying to do is with the help of this prototype object, okay, I'm trying to attach a new property, okay, to the function employee. This is how you have to do. You have to first call the function name, then the prototype keyword, then the property which you are going to add and the value respectively. So any instances created of this function employee will be now having that age property accessible. So uh, let me show you a demo of this. It's very simple. So let me jump here. So here is my HTML page. Let me add script tag. So within the script tag, let me write my JavaScript code. So what I'll do is I'll just create a function employee. And now I'll add two properties to this as present in the example. One is name and the name I'll give it as Sam and the other one is let me check the other property what is present there it's male so oh, I've ended up with the semicolon not this one okay this dot gender 
is equal to its meal sum is meal okay suppose what I'll do is I'll create an object of this function employee and I'll name the object as EMP OBJ one I am taking one is I'm going to create another object so I'll proper naming I'm creating it as OBJ one okay now EMP OBJ one I'll attach new property H and the value that attached to it is 15 in my alert function okay what I'll do is I'll just pass this control S and what I'll do right now is I'll create another object Twenty, sorry, 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 sorry. What I need to do is I need to pass this to alert function. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here. Control S. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the page folder where I saved this page, and here is my folder. When I double click on that, okay, what we are going to get is we are going to get two outputs. One is the value of H for the object one instance. For the object two instance, we'll get the output as undefined. Why? Because the your these sentences explain you very clearly. Because each property is attached to employee object one instance only, but each property is not attached to employee object two instance. So when we try to access each property with the help of this employee object two, we will get the output as undefined. So how to solve this problem? In the sense, all the instances of the employee should get that H property. So, how to how, how can I attach a new property to a function at any at, at spontaneously at any instance? So, it's very simple. I need to make use of the prototype concept or feature. So, what I'll do is I'll call the employee function first, and then prototype keyword. Then the new property what we are going to attach. Okay, and the value assigned to it is 15. Fine. Now I'll just remove this because employee object one is having it's already in having inside this H property. So now when I do control S, let me go back and let me refresh. We will get the output as 15 and the next one also 15. Why? Because okay, this H property is added to the function itself so anyone creating an instance of this function employee will be having accessible to get the age property and its value respectively this is how you can attach new properties to a function at any instance spontaneously with the help of prototype keyword and that's what we learned in this session okay and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Langpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer websites we're on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day